pros and cons, website versus social media. Are you leveraging your website your social media, or both. In today's video, we wanna go over the pros and cons of you know, good things and the bad things when it comes to social media, and the good things and the bad things when it comes to websites. In the real estate space, you know, a lot of real estate agents have websites because of their broker, but they don't leverage their website, and if you don't leverage your website properly, then there could be a lot of cons instead of a lot of pros, because if you don't use your website, then you're probably not thinking about any pros, you're probably just thinking about all the pros when it comes to your social media. So let's go ahead and get into it. My my name is Norman Lloyd Kinsey III. I'm your CEO and co-founder of Liftoff Agent, your number one marketing and positioning agency. And we serve hundreds of agents across the country, been in the industry for about 10 years. And I've met personally over 10,000 plus real estate professionals. And we use social media, and we also use our website to be able to add additional value. Now, did you know that when you think about a funnel, at the top of the funnel, your social media is going to be at the top of the funnel? And did you know your website is gonna be at the middle and at the bottom of the funnel? So let's go over some cons when it comes to your social media. Now, when you think about your social media, some cons are is that it's there today, gone tomorrow. Technically, posts don't stay up for very long, 24 to 48 hours, and depending on how well your reel or post is doing, it could go away really fast. Now, when it comes to a website, this is gonna be a pro, is you actually will deal with something called search engine optimization with the website. So when you post a video, you post a vlog, or you post any information, that's gonna be cataloged in Bing, Google, and Yahoo, and that will help you over time with your search engine optimization. Now, with a social media post, that potentially can help you if it goes viral, like I have a post right now on at Mr. Liftoff's Instagram page that has over 2 million views. Good, bad, or ugly, take it for what it is, but the post is still getting lots of traction and it's been going on for since the time of the filming of this video for two plus weeks. Now that's not traditionally normal, that's definitely an abnormal situation, but that definitely is something for you to take in consideration, con versus a pro. Now let's talk about another con when it comes to social media. Now with social media it being the top of the funnel, if you don't have a CTA, a call to action when you put a reel or you put a post out there or a story out there, then you potentially could lose out on opportunities if you're not asking them to do something and or go somewhere like your website. Now, one thing you could do for a call to action when it comes to that con is you can actually do something by setting up mini chat. We're gonna be talking about that in a different video. And with mini chat, you can actually be able to use that where they can comment. If you ever had a video that you watched and says comment something in the comment section below, and then I'll send you a direct message of say a material a guide, a download, or whatever. Well, that's called mini chat. Now, when it comes to your website, when it comes to a pro. Now, when you think about uh, the pro on the website side, normally when you develop a website, you wanna think about your website as far as what CTAs you have, call to action. So this one right here is an automatic video that follows a person around saying, do you wanna set up a demo or do you wanna learn more about Liftoff Agent? When you first come to the website, a video will pop up giving the person a video walkthrough tour. So a con with the website is, is you're gonna take some time to think about buy side, sell side, pricing, uh, about page, you're gonna be a little bit more methodical, you should be, when developing a website because you're gonna have a longer runway of time before you go live with that. Let's talk about some additional cons when it comes to your social media. Now, on social media, if you are not, say, adding some type of value, right, whether you're uh, giving tutorials, ideas, tips, suggestions, or entertaining someone, when it comes to social media, you're gonna get very low views. A couple things to think about also when it comes to con with social media, is if you're not staying consistent, building a know, like, and trust with stories, then you could literally lose out on a lot of opportunities if you're not posting on stories. We did a video on that as well, and we highly recommend that you watch that. Here it is after this video, check it out. And that's technically not a pro for websites, that's a con because on websites, you can't really give a behind the scenes kind of idea of what's going on. What you can do is, is you can actually feed your Instagram to your website for an example, and then they can go to your Instagram, then they can watch your story to get more of a behind the scene look. And so I think that's one up for the for the social side on a, on a pro side, that's a really good idea to think about on social media is how you can build the know, like, and trust so much easier by posting stories right on top of your reels and on top of your stagnant post so you have some of those cons when it comes to the fact that like hey 
on social media. The post are there today, gone tomorrow, right? If you're not building the know, like, and trust and educating or entertaining, you're not gonna get much out of social media. And also if you're not on stories, then you're not gonna be able to build the know, like, and trust and people can't see behind the scenes what's going on. Some of the pros when it comes to your website is a search engine optimization, building on top of the base of what you already put out there, right? It's more middle of the funnel and bottom of the funnel because you can get people to set up a call with you or get people to be able to download a guide and they can then you can get their information and go through that process. And some of the cons with the website we talked about, it's not like social media. You can't build a know, like, and trust on your website like you can on your social media. So we highly recommend that you think about working with both of them. At the beginning of the video, we talked about how you have top of the funnel, middle of the funnel, bottom of the funnel. Top of the funnel is the social media, potentially your YouTube channel. You're building the know, like, and trust. You're educating, you're entertaining, and you're giving them good value add from buying and selling and specifically area content. And then on the website, that solidifies what you just told them, where then you can be able to go ahead and give them additional things like guides, resources, and a step-by-step -step process in the buy process and or a step-by-step -step process in the sell process to add massive value to your end user. So there are some pros, there are some cons. At the end of the day, I highly recommend that you basically blend the two. Those are some things to take in consideration. I hope this was helpful. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm off to a meeting with one of our team and staff members. I appreciate you and we'll see you on the next one. Comment below with any feedback that you have. Free strategy session if you want to take advantage of strategy session and go deeper into what you're doing, what you could be doing to have more success. I'll see you all on the next one.